Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out here at the range today with heavy metal, comparing two heavy hitter centerfire cartridges. And that is, let me figure out which is which, the 7mm Magnum and the 300 Win Mag. So, two real, real sweet shooting calibers known to be long distance hunting cartridges, some sniper rifles are in 300 wind mag but i got two of my hunting rifles out here today and we're going to be shooting some flour i was walking around walmart over there in mcminnville tennessee looking for cheap things we could blow up that won't cost us an arm and a leg and you know what flour it's only about a dollar for these five pound bags i think that's five pound bags yeah so we're going to line up a bunch of flour and see how many seven millimeter mag and 300 wind mag can go through i have no idea i think i got 10 bags so five each i kind of get the feeling neither one of these is going to go through all of them paul says three but we're about to find out i'm gonna shoot the seven millimeter rim mag first we're gonna catch it all on camera should be pretty cool let's see what happens and before i forget to tell you this is the ammo we're shooting just the cheap ammo you can get most available people can get their hands on it's 150 grain in the seven millimeter winchester powerpoint and 180 grain powerpoint for the 300 wind mag while we're sitting here talking about ammo i'll show them to you up close you can see the 300 is just a little taller than that seven millimeter and before i forget to tell you let me show you the rifles real quick these are matching rifles, same model. These are both Remington 770s. So in these calibers, probably about the cheapest one you can find. These are very inexpensive rifles, but you can see we do not have the factory stocks on here. These are actually uh, Boyd's stocks, B-O-Y-D-S. I actually really like a lot, and we've got some pretty nice Nikons on top of these babies. So. Stay tuned for some future videos. We're going to be stretching these things out. Shooting them pretty far distances, maybe even a thousand yards. But, matching rifles, the Remington 770s. Let's go take the 7mm mag out, blow up some flour with it, see what happens. Alright, here we go with the 7mm. See what happens here. Oh yeah, I can hit that. Oh, I got five bags up there. Four small ones and then one really big one so y'all should be able to see it on the slow-mo up there. I might have pulled the trigger on that. Did that I hit the flower? was hard. Yeah, and this trigger's heavier than what I'm used to. So, I think I might have pulled that up, but let's go check it out and see what happened. Well, I said I might have missed. It looks like I actually hit a pretty dead center shot. So, looking at the first bag, you can see right there in the center is where it came in. And coming around the front, the back of that first bag is gone. Then the second bag there, we got a big ginormous hole. Move this first one out of the way. Pull the second bag back. And big hole coming out of that second one. And then we still got an entry hole on the third bag of flour. And looks like an exit on the third bag of flour well i don't know that fourth bag does not even have a scratch on it so that bullet has to be in uh this third one so first two blew big holes out the back the third one it either uh stopped in it or it came out the side because there's absolutely no bullet hole on this fourth one. 
let me dump out this third one here quick and we might have some uh, bullet in here to look at sit it right here it definitely went in the third one this is going to be a mess Hmm. I'll pull it in there yet. Nothing in there yet. And no bullet. So, hmm. Hard to say what happened there. I have no idea where the bullet went for that 7mm, but it stopped in the third bag of flour. Did not go into the fourth one. So, let's go see what happens with the 300 wind mag. Alright, now we got the 300 wind mag. That 7mm uh, was kind of uneventful. I was expecting to see a big cloud. And I didn't see nothing. Maybe you guys did on the slow-mo, but here goes the 300 wind mag. Get you a close look of that up, up close there. I really like these thumb holes. But 300 wind mag on the flower. Let's see what happens. Try not to miss. Well, I think that did a little bit more damage than that first one. Oh, yeah. Let's go check it out. All right, so remember, that 7mm mag only went through three and didn't touch the fourth bag. We'll see what happened with this 300 wind mag. Looks like we got a dead center shot. So, just like last time, there's the first bag, full dead center. But... Four are actually laying down on this, so big old hole out the back of the first one, kind of like we would expect. First one, the front is just, or the second one rather, is just shredded. Still coming out the back of the second one there. Third one, yep, there's definitely a hole in it. And the third one, flower coming out the back, and now here's the fourth one. Remember the fourth one on the seven millimeter did not have an entry and hmm looks like it does on the 300 wind mag so 300 wind mag wins did it come out the back nope did not come out the back so weird thing is is I don't feel any bullet in there so I don't know what is happening with these, but it's not, I don't know where the bullet is. It's gotta be in there somewhere. Hmm, I don't know, but 300 wind mag beats it with the flower. But, thanks for watching the video today, guys. No doubts, you saw it in the flower. 300 wind mag went into four bags of flour where the seven millimeter rim mag only went into three. So Paul even guessed that one right. But Thanks for watching the video today, guys. We got some extra flour out here. Comment down below what you want us to see shoot into flour next. We got 50 BMG, 338 Lapua, you name it. Eh, we might have it laying around we could shoot some flour with. But a big shout out and a big thanks to Heavy Metal. You guys go check them out and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hooty Hoo channel if you haven't already. Thanks for tuning into this one. We'll see you on the next one. Hooty Hoo!